Welcome back to the channel everybody, Dr. Cellini here. Today I wanted to talk briefly about things we are going to be changing. And I know you probably think the thumbnail is a little clickbaity, but that's not the case because I actually wanted to get on here, talk a little bit about things that I'm going to change given the fact that it's a new year, it's 2022, and we need to take this channel to the next level. And that's exactly what I want to talk about today. First and foremost, Happy New Year. Now let's get into what I'm going to change. For those of you who don't know, I started this channel back in 2018 during my residency. I made a number of videos talking about study techniques for medical school, admissions process into medical school, how I was so successful at getting into medical school and all that kind of stuff. But I'm kind of past that point in my life now. I'm now greater than a decade removed from the whole med school admissions process and being a pre-med student. I don't really feel like that kind of stuff applies to what I'm doing in my life currently. And to be quite honest, I don't really care about that stuff anymore because I'm so far removed from it. And let's not forget, since it's been over a decade since my pre-med years, a lot has changed since then. The admissions process is different. The MCAT is completely different now. I don't even know what the score on the MCAT means these days. It's like a three digit number. Back when I was there, I think 45 was the maximum score you could get. When I talk to people about their MCATs, I, I just I have nothing to say because I don't know. And I'm not going to bother researching medical school admission tests or pre-med stuff because like I said I'm past that point in my life. When I first started this channel I wanted to use it to talk about my interests, my life outside of medicine, and also touch on things in medicine and highlight my pathway through residency and fellowship. I also wanted to use this channel as a way to motivate others who are going into medical school and advancing their careers within medicine and I don't want to stop doing that. However we do need to make some changes going forward and that's the whole point of doing this video. So what are these changes you may ask? Well I'm glad you asked. Let's first talk about pre-med stuff. So like I touched on earlier in this video, I don't really plan on talking about pre-med stuff anymore because again, I'm just so far removed from that whole world and I can't really keep up with the whole pre-med admissions process into medical school and all that stuff. And I don't really care to because that stuff doesn't interest me. I'm well past that in my life and it just changes so much I can't keep up with it. And for that reason, I don't feel comfortable giving you advice on stuff that I'm not actively involved in, I'm not actively researching, I'm not studying it and all that stuff. So for me to sit here and give you all pre-med advice 10 years plus after I went through the process, it wouldn't really be good advice and I don't think you should take it from someone like me. And for that reason, I don't feel comfortable giving you all advice on pre-medical stuff and getting into med school because I just don't know a lot about it anymore. So what about medical school topics? Well, medical school topics are still kind of tough for me because again, I don't keep up with what's going on in med school these days. It's a little closer to me than the pre-med years, so I do feel comfortable giving more information about this topic. However, even med school stuff is changing all over the place and all the time. Like the US only step one is now pass fail. It wasn't pass fail when I was there. I don't even know what the pass rate is for the US only step one, nor do I really care because I don't really keep up with that stuff. I don't even remember my step scores at this point in my life because they don't matter after med school. Obviously, I don't wanna completely abandon all things medical school and medical education related, and I will incorporate some of this stuff, especially when I work with other sponsors who actually know what they're talking about. Like when I do sponsor videos like with Motivate MD, and they provide wealth of knowledge about the pre-med and medical school process, that stuff, I'll continue to do, but if I'm just making a video on my own, I'm not gonna talk too much about med school and pre-med. All right, so what about residency stuff? Radiology residency, interventional fellowship. Yes, I will always continue to talk about that because that's pertinent to my life and my entire career. That's essentially what I really built this channel on, the whole residency pathway and highlighting my path through residency training and fellowship. So for that reason, I will still talk about all of that stuff. I've been there, I've gone through residency training not too long ago, and I just completed my fellowship training and I feel like I can offer a lot of valuable information on residency and life after residency and fellowship. So I will continue to talk about that kind of stuff because that interests me, that's what my whole career is about and I can help a lot of people along the way. Why did I start this channel to begin with? Well, I started it to make videos on topics I'm interested in. I no longer wanna make videos about topics I'm not interested in because it feels a little forced. So that's why I'm not doing any pre-med kind of stuff or med school stuff. I don't need to talk about study videos. I don't need to talk about admissions process because realistically I've done a hundred plus videos on those topics and it doesn't excite me anymore. I don't even know what else I can talk about in terms of those topics. So since I created this whole channel based on things that I'm interested in, going forward I'm going to start making videos on topics I'm interested in. 
Who would have thought? So what are those topics I'm interested in and what am I going to start making videos on? Number one, radiology and interventional radiology. Like I touched on briefly, I'm going to continue to talk about the radiology residency and interventional radiology fellowship part. Having gone through the long six years of training, I think it's important for me to kind of guide others through that process. So I will continue to talk about that stuff. I also will continue to talk more about interventional radiology procedures because like I said in previous videos, the marketing is a little scarce in our specialty and I feel like someone really needs to step up and show exactly what we can do. Because a lot of the world doesn't really know what interventional radiologists do, and a lot of physicians don't even know what interventional radiologists do. So for that reason, I will continue to talk about those topics. Next, the second thing I'm going to start making videos on, financial literacy in medicine. Because learning about finance and medicine and med school and residency is essentially non-existent. And if you're not self-motivated to learn more about finances, probably won't, and you'll probably be one of those doctors who's six years old with just the amount of cash in their savings account, earning no interest for you. I've obviously gained more interest in the financial space, given the fact that I just finished fellowship and now have an attending salary. So I obviously like talking about this stuff and I feel like it's a good way for me to research more on these topics because I enjoy them. And I also think it's important for me to educate the healthcare community in the process. So I will start talking more about financial literacy and financial topics on this channel, especially as they pertain to medicine. The next thing I wanna talk about is real estate. As you probably saw in my last video, how I spent my first doctor paycheck check link up here. I kind of dabbled in a little real estate investment because that is something I do on the side besides being an interventional radiologist and besides being a YouTuber. I also invest in real estate and other things. I feel like people, especially in our position, need to know more about it because it can make you very successful and present a large earning opportunity for you. So I kind of threw that out there on that video and I was kind of shocked. I thought not many people were going to really like this kind of topic, but it turns out a lot of people were interested in real estate investing. So I obviously do that on the side like I mentioned and I plan on making a few more videos on that and see how those do. The next topic I will continue to make videos on is travel because after all like I've said on many videos traveling is something I'm really passionate about. Andrea and I love to travel to new places and I like to vlog the whole experience because a a lot of people enjoy watching those videos and more importantly I love nothing more than looking back year or two years later or even 10 years from now and having a whole video remembering our trip to these certain places. It's kind of cool. It's like a, a photo album, but a video album. It's a quick way to watch your entire trip in 10 plus minutes. And I just love making them. It kind of really boosts the creative process for me and to be able to film and do activities in a new space with the love of your life. It's fantastic. I love doing it. So hopefully you all enjoy it as well. I'm also going to start talking more about how to make passive income. A lot of YouTubers you see make videos on how I make, you know, $1,000 a day and all that stuff. And I used to think that was crazy until I started making passive income myself. So I feel like I have to share this knowledge with everybody because a lot of people don't know about it. So I will start making a few videos on passive income as well. Also, you may have noticed I've started a few live streams here and there, probably done like five or so at random times throughout the week. And in those videos, I usually try to discuss the current events in healthcare. And I want to start incorporating that more in my channel because after all, I am a board certified physician and I think it's my duty to educate the public and talk about current events in healthcare. So that is something I kind of want to start incorporating into my channel. So just because I'm not going to be talking about pre-med and medical school stuff anymore and how to study and all that stuff because I've done a ton of videos on those topics. It doesn't mean I'm giving up on medicine altogether. A majority of my videos Oh wait, this one. Yeah. A majority of my videos will still be related to medicine. Well, almost all of them will, but I'm going to start incorporating finance stuff and also current events in healthcare and all that kind of stuff. So like I said before, it's a new year. We're going to start changing things up a little bit and I hope you all stay around for the ride. I have a lot of followers who follow me for the pre-med stuff and the study techniques and all that stuff. And hopefully as you grow as students, you continue to watch my videos and learn more about the topics I spoke of earlier. I really am looking forward to making these kind of videos because it's going to kind of get those creative juices flowing again and not be so forced. So happy new year to everybody out there. For this year, 2022, I'm really going to focus on cranking out awesome content on topics I actually like. So let me know in the comments below what you think about this, what kind of topics would interest you and what kind of topics I should do videos on. Let me know if you think this is a good idea. If you're pissed off me and want to unsubscribe, let me know as well. Gently tap that subscribe button. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you don't already. And as always, we'll see you all on the next video very soon. Bye.